kickboxing as a warm-up and I stay nice and light on my feet and keep those gloves up. For these rotating jumping jacks, I'm rotating when I jump out. And then I do a jab cross combination. So whichever side I step with is the side that I punch first with. So it's jab cross, jab cross. And the jab is the short punch, the cross is the longer punch. And I am rotating my body slightly in order to do that longer punch that's coming from the back. And the same thing on the other side. Step, jab, cross. Step, jab, cross. Get ready to stop with your feet shoulder width apart, your knees bent, and punch into the ground. All right, so we're gonna go right into a kick punch combination. With the roundhouse kick, the goal is to hit our opponent with our shin. And with the cross punch that we're going to do, the power is coming from the rotation of your hip and torso. Alright, so this time when we jump down, we're going to do some uppercuts and punch our adversity in the chin. We're going to take it out. Alright, then I go straight into some back kicks and I look back at them to make sure that my leg's really getting up there. Alright, so this is a great time to grab those ankle weights and grab some water before the next song starts up. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm gonna go right in with some leg lifts and I'll be rotating my torso towards the leg that I'm lifting. And I'm also pulling my belly button into my spine. And this is gonna help me to tighten the lower core muscles. I'm also lifting my legs using those lower core muscles. All right, so it's the same thing here. I'm gonna tighten my lower core muscles and I'm gonna lift that leg with my lower core muscles. So on hands and knees, I'm going to be pulling my belly button into my spine. This is going to help me to tighten those lower core muscles. I'm going to be giving myself a break and then tightening it and holding it there. So relax, tighten, just keep holding it. Relax, tighten, keep holding it. Relax, tighten, just keep going that same way. All right, so, so far we've been relaxing and tightening those lower core muscles. Relaxing and tightening. But this time when you relax, you're gonna rotate those hips to one side and then tighten. And then relax, rotate them to the other side and then tighten. And we'll continue on like that. And now lift your knees into your chest, keeping your core nice and tight. And then bring your knees up and out to the sides. All right, so to finish up this core portion, just do a quick plank, holding those core muscles nice and tight. And jumping right into the booty portion, I'll be staying on hands and knees and lifting one leg to the sky. And I'm tightening that glute muscle every time I lift my leg. I don't care what it feels like I don't care if the enemy tries to make you cry all night I don't care what they told you Just try to keep your composure All right, here you'll want to lean down on your elbows To make it a little more challenging And the same thing on the other side and take it back down to those elbows. Then here I like to do rainbows. So I'm tracing a rainbow with my toe from one side of the mat to the other. Still lifting with those glute muscles.
And same on the other side. Do you want to go? Do you want to be in B-I-C-T-O-I? Gotta put your game face on. Don't be fake, though. Go from low to high. It's all in the name. Just call it the name and you'll be fine. Let me tell you how to get How to get to this All right, so now I'm gonna lay flat in preparation to do some glute bridges. And so every time I lift my hips up, I'm gonna be tightening those booty muscles. Um, you can call it clenching the booty, however you want to. But every time you lift up, you wanna hold and clench those just for that second while your hips are raised. Don't say it unless you believe it. You will, you will, you will, you will win. I'm excited about your future. All right, and keeping the booty clenched, we're gonna hold it here. Keep that booty nice and tight. Try to keep your belly up high. Ooh, you made it. So up next, we're gonna go into some squats, and the squats are going to be awesome for the booty and the belly. This is gonna be working out both. While we're doing these squats, you want to make sure you focus on keeping your belly button in to your spine and keeping that booty nice and clenched. So whenever you come up, into the spine and booty nice and clenched. Into the spine, booty nice and tight. still doing these squats and to top it off we're about to go into double time so the same thing just faster making sure that you keep that belly button to the spine and that booty nice and tight um, it's most important to keep your form right more the more so than doing it as fast as you can so if your form is right then you're doing well and just hold your belly and booty tight for the next few seconds. All right, so we're gonna go find ourselves a wall space. It can be a door, a clear wall, um, but we're going to have our legs about shoulder width apart. And then once you're settled, just pull up those arms, walk up to the wall a little bit, and just stand about an arm's distance away. And guess what? We're going back into those squats again. Starting with the slow ones. And get ready for double time because here it comes. And on this last one, just bring it up and hold it tight. Hold that belly tight, hold your booty tight. And then we're gonna bring our arms up to the wall and do some wall push-ups. 
keeping that belly tight, belly button into the spine, and that booty nice and tight. And the same thing with legs together. Yes, you made it through. Before we go into our stretches, it's definitely time for a victory dance. So let's get it, y'all. All right, so go ahead and grab some water if you need it before we stretch. So I start by stretching my lower abdomen, pulling one leg back at a time. Then I stretch the sides of my abdomen. Then I fit in some arm circles in both directions. And then I bring each arm overhead to stretch out the tricep. Then I stretch each arm across the chest. Then I reach down as far as I can and lift up onto my toes for an added stretch. Moving to the floor, I'll separate out my legs as far as I can get them to go and then just reach through to the center. And then I'll stretch to one side and then the other. With this stretch, I've got my leg extended all the way out to the side with the arch of my foot to the floor and I am leaning towards that extended foot and this is stretching the inner thigh. So this next stretch is a little bit different. I'm going to lean to the outside of the front thigh and then lean to the inside of the front thigh. And then I'm gonna pull up that back leg to get a stretch on the opposite leg. And in this butterfly position, you can lean forward. You can also use your elbows to press your legs down. And one leg over and then turn towards the leg that's up to stretch the outer thigh. So I just do a child's pose to finish this off and then I bring my knees out in order to get a better stretch. All 
All right, so that's it. You made it through. You are victorious. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to come back and follow it. I need to do it um, at least every other day. I always try not to do seven days a week, um, but at least every other day is really good. So I also kind of do a body and lean version of this. So if you are a mother, keep looking back for that um, so you can see how does your kids evolve. Sometimes they wake up early and you don't have your time to yourself, so you keep them involved so you don't, you know, have to attack. Um, I also plan to do this locally, so if you are in Maryland, um, you can check back on my website or my Instagram and Facebook to see if there's any upcoming events um, that I'll be teaching either this class or something similar. So again, thanks for watching, and remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.